Okay, um, tonight uh, the weather isn't very good, it's quite windy and it's going to rain if it's not raining already or outside. So my plan is to go over to one of my favourite paladars to have something to eat to fill it to, fi uh, fill it to Pascado, um, which is in a paladar in Vedado. Uh, the address is just below now and then I'm going to head towards uh, a cinema uh, where I'm going to go and see a movie tonight at about 8pm. Uh, I've got the choice of two cinemas, one with air conditioning and one without and it's going to cost me either two national pesos or three national pesos. Three national pesos if I actually want the one with the air conditioning, which due to the humidity and the heat of the day is nice, relaxed and a break to watch a movie in the particular area. As to what's on the movie, I checked earlier today and it was a bit confusing considering the amount of movies available, so I actually won't know what I'm actually going to see until I get there this evening, but rest assured I'm sure that I'll enjoy it. So off I go now to go to the Paladar called Las Primos. Uh, which in English is the Cousins and it's situated just off 23 uh, by H Archie which is H uh, and I'll show you the full address like I said below and I'm going to go off there now and go and have some since sweet. Buenas noches. Sí. Ah, uh, Felipe Pescado, para mí. Un pescado. Y uh, la fresca la lemon. Gracias. Bien. So you know earlier where I told you it was going to rain. Well, what you can hear in the background isn't traffic. It's the sound of the rain hitting the floor, and you can see it just behind, in front of me, and it looks a bit like this. So when it rains in uh, Uba, uh, it rains really hard and it rains for sometimes for a long time and sometimes not. But right now it's raining a lot and it's going to continue this for most of the hour. Um, and then when I finish my food, it should have calmed down. I've got my umbrella and then I can head over to uh, the cinema to uh, watch uh, the film with some friends too. They're meeting me there. They were supposed to be meeting me for dinner, but the likely it is they are being held up somewhere because of the rain. Did tell them to arrive at the time, and I did. Um, but you know, sometimes the rain can catch you out. So this is the pescado. There's never any bones in it that I've experienced, and as you can see, it's quite big. And this is my rice and beans, and this cost me 60 national pesos, which is around about um, two and a half cook. And it's really good. And the really good thing about eating here is the food is hot, and I mean really hot. Well, because it's a hot environment, it can be a little off putting sometimes where the food is kind of lukewarm, but that's just because of the environment and the how things are in Cuba. But here, the food is really hot. To the point where I can actually see the heat coming off this particular rice and beans, which is really tasty. Um, the fish is also got uh, onions, um, peppers, and some kind of spices with it. But also, one of the things that they do cook it with is lemon, uh, which really gives a nice flavour to it too. Give you an indication of the amount of fish that you look, and it's gorgeous. One of the hardest things in Cuba is getting the consistency of um, the food on a regular basis. So one of the things I'd always recommend doing is looking at the restaurant and seeing how many people are in the restaurant. Because the less people is the more time they've got to prepare your food. If it's going to be crowded, they're going to rush the food and it's not going to be as good. So um, six o'clock, usually most evenings in Las Paremos. Not necessarily the weekend is usually the best time to come. It's when I've been coming now for well over a year. And it's still good now. Mm. And tomatoes in Cuba are fantastic. It's because of none of the genetically modified food that we have back in Europe. I have no medical way of proving it or scientific way, but I've noticed the difference in the way in which people with genetically modified 
foods are not as attractive or aesthetically pleasing as people that are on non-GM foods and organic food. Look at South America, for example. And then look at people from the US. It's a good indication. I don't need anybody to do a clinical trial to tell me that. Okay, I'm done, I can't eat no more. Um, that's the best I can do. The portions are really big. Cubans expect a lot of, a lot of food for their money. So that was dinner, um, and now most people eat ice cream, but there's no ice cream here, because this is a paladar, and you go to Capelia for ice cream. But one of the things that you can get, which you can't get in the hotels, is a ice um, drink of juice, um, which is uh, ground uh, in, a, in a blender, Badil. Badil? And uh, it can have different types of fruit. This one, I think by the look of it, is mango and I've just ordered and it's going to come and they're really cheap, they're between 10 and 5 national pesos and they're very refreshing and they're very nice. So I've had them all across Cuba and it's probably one of the reasons why my health is so good because of the idea of having fresh uh, organic juice most days of the week. I just need to work out the quantity of rum that I'm proportioning that to. And here it is, this is a bit deep. And it's very nice. It's very um, nice indeed. So it was probably around about 12 months ago when I actually discovered Las Primos. Uh, it's a paladar located in Vedado um, between 23 and 21 on Echi, which is H, and it's just on the corner. And one of the things that opened in January was this particular bakery and it's extended itself over the last 12 months now and now it seems to be when I arrived to date catering for vegetarians so if you're in a vegetarian in Cuba in Havana this may be the place for you it's also uh, is doing things with vegetables too and with milks which I never understand what that means in Espanol and also with juices and with um, other things too so this may be a good place to come along and check out as well as actually coming to the Paladar where I had filled it to Biscardo a drink and a juice for less than four CUC okay after going inside and actually speaking to the people inside it makes more clear to me of what this establishment is as well as just being a bakery it's also for a business to business partnership on the basis of providing foods for other Paladars and restaurants within Habana um, so it really does go to show the differences of the new creative industries which are being created as part of the now self-employment within Cuba. So interesting to see how that's come about. And the menu of Las Primos, if you're interested, is just here. Hopefully you can see that in the dark and in the gloom. And it's now stopped raining enough so my camera doesn't get too wet, even though it's dripping on me now. And I'm going to head off now to the, um, to the uh, cinema to go and watch the film and hopefully people will be there to meet me. And hopefully they won't be too hungry either. So off we go.